Again the Magic by Lisa Claybus. Big fan of her. Big fan of her series about, um, uh, like Love in the Afternoon. I don't, those aren't really the names of the book, but like Love in the Afternoon or Midnight, Seducing at Sunrise. Mm, things like that. She wrote those books. They sound really like romancy, but they're not that romancy, which is nice. Um, this one has pieces of the families. I think in the right book. Oh my god, I just read so many books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. I think like the crazy family that's in the books I like and that Seduce Me at Sunrise series is kind of touched on in this book a little bit but not very much but it sort of has that same like hint of it in there anywho Lady Aline Aline A-L-I-N-E Lady Marsden uh, was brought up for one reason to make an advantageous marriage to a member of her own class Instead, she willingly gave her innocence to John McKenna, a servant on her father's estate. Their passionate transgression was unforgivable. John was sent away, and uh, Lady Marsden was left to live in the countryside, an exile from London society. It's not really true. That's not what happened in the book. She wasn't really exiled. She just kind of didn't ever want to get married. Just because she didn't want to. She's one of the gay guys. Cool. Um... Now McKenna has made his fortune, and he has returned more boldly handsome and more mem mesmerizing than before. His ruthless plan is to take revenge on the woman who shattered his dreams of love, but the magic between them burns as bright as ever, and now he must decide whether to let vengeance take its toll or to risk everything for his first and only something, because the sticker's on it, his first and only love, perhaps. Something like that. Um... So yeah, basically, they're like little kids, and they hang out together, and they play, but then they start getting older, and they start being like, dude, you're a girl with boobies, and she's like, dude, you're a guy, kind of dig you, let's kiss and stuff. So then, um, they get in trouble, because the dad finds out, and he's like, dude, you're just a stable boy, and she's a lady, so not, not happening, see you later, peace out. So he leaves, and then comes back, like the book cover said, and... He comes back and he's like, you ruined my life, you said you didn't love me, I hate your guts now, and I'm going to ruin your life by, like, having sex with her. I'm not really sure, it was weird. He was going to, like, take advantage of her, I'm not sure. But then they ended up, like, having issues. And then there's a couple other characters in the book that have, like, connections and things. Kind of funny, kind of good. I enjoyed it. This was a quick read. This was enjoyable. This is a good, yay, Stacy likes this kind of book. So, um... Even though this McKenna guy was all, like, full of angst and I'm gonna hate you and I'm gonna take my revenge on you. That was kind of a joke. Because he wasn't. Anywho. Good book. Enjoyed it. If you like historical romancy books that are kind of fun, check this out. 